The 56th Victorian Parliament sat for the last time yesterday with departing MPs making their valedictory speeches. The week began with insults and allegations of spying. By week's end, there was backslapping and congratulations. This is conspiracy theories gone mad. And when you run around sucking and crying like a little baby because you're being scrutinised, well, maybe you shouldn't be in this game. But I don't go out there and sook about it. For goodness sake, what a big sook Ted Bailey is. Can I say of the commentary that's come from both the Premier and the Attorney-General in the last few days, I think it's childish. Order. It was the final week of Parliament before a state election and it was difficult even for the Speaker to keep order. Order? Member for Dandenong. I do ask that we remain professional for this last 60 minutes. The opposition has asked for a police investigation into claims that its email system was broken into. That followed reports of a dirt unit operating out of the Premier's office trying to uncover damaging information on the opposition. Are there public servants who are instead now devoted to and having their work diverted to spying on the opposition? Oh, John, you, you've just used that language as well. I wouldn't even respond to that. I, I'm, I'm not going to grace that language. So you rephrase the question. The week was only going to get worse for the Premier, with numerous damaging reports delivered to the Parliament. One from the Auditor-General showing ambulance response times the worst in five years. Another detailing cost blowouts for the desalination plant. The Ombudsman critical of police over the reporting of crime statistics, and there were many more. But the biggest blow to the government has been the resignation of two senior ministers, Energy and Resources Minister Peter Batchelor and Police Minister Bob Cameron. Given the way uh, they're jumping ship now, there's clearly no faith in the government. By week's end, though, animosities were put aside as seven departing MPs farewelled the lower house of parliament. And finally, uh, to my partner, Dorothy, And to my sons, Ryan and Lachlan. Yep, thank you. So to my sons, Ryan and Lachlan, I just want to say thank you, and I look forward to spending more time with them. And speaking to those opposite who I've come to know well uh, over the years, uh, on, on good terms to you, I say what my uh, late Liberal voting Uncle Stuart used to say, I wish you well but not too well. I know I look forward to a private life as well. You can see how much of a political tragedy tragic I am when I tell you I actually enjoy branch meetings. Oh. I, 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 <laughs> I like the banter, I like the debate, and I actually like the uh, conspiracy theories. <laughs> and I look forward to watching the 57th Parliament on the evening news. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Good luck to you all. May, may you have a good, long experience here and have a stable government. The longest applause was for the man considered the father of the lower house. After 34 years in Parliament, National Party MP Ken Jasper is also retiring. The standards of the Parliament, however, have degenerated in a number of areas. We need to uphold the provisions of the Parliament, the history of the Parliament, and the standards have been set in years gone by. I want to say and put it on record now, I've never been into the Legislative Assembly without a jacket and a tie. And, and I... <laughs> so I close by wishing you all au revoir. Arrivederci. Adios. That's it from the 56th Parliament. We'll know on the 27th of November which side of politics will occupy the government benches in the 57th Parliament.